everyone a very warm welcome to all of you so today i'm back with the another interview question so this is the question in front of you there's a table called employee dates and the status column in the table so as you can see there are two employees a1 and a2 and they are the dates 1 2 3 4 until 10th of january okay so there are the statuses and uh, the present how many days the employee was present and in which day he was absent and move on to the employee 2 a2 there are few dates on which he was present and other dates in which he was absent so we want to transpose this table into this table okay so you want to create a column structure table structure like this where employee and we have you know the column from date and to date and the present and status where we can show the status of the employee where whether, whether the range of date in this range of date the employee was present and in this range of date he was absent all right so how to do that the our motto is to transpose the column into this table okay so let's do this i have created a table for you and uh, let's do this all right so first of all what we're gonna do here is we'll create a row numbers okay so let's do that row number we will generate row numbers and uh, the row numbers will help a lot okay so every row will get a number so partition partition by employee and uh, order by dates okay and after that we will be creating ranks okay we're gonna give some ranks to employees okay dense rank okay all right so over clause and partition by so we're gonna make partition of the ranks on two columns the so one is employee and the other one is status okay so the purpose of this will give employee present status one one employee present status two then employee present status three then again the status should be one. Oh, sorry the absent status should be one okay so we are maybe we are going to make some categories according to that okay and order by dates okay that is dn all right let's run this okay now what we're gonna do here is we will sort the table structure order by dates so as you can see the rn the row number has a simple numbers till 10 of employee a1 until 4 till 5 employee a2 okay so now and there are some ranks employee a1 present 1 2 3 and then again it, it was absent so it goes to one okay so this is a new category new rank to the present the absent one then again start from three then for the present and again start from two uh, for the absent okay so same it goes to uh, employee a2 all right so now what we're gonna do here we'll create a cde okay and after the cde we'll create a groups we'll remove the order by and select from CTE and uh, what we're gonna do here is we'll import the columns CTE employee CTE dates CTE status and CTE dot uh, RN minus CTE dot DN okay so we are going to subtract this from this okay so it when it will goes to subs subtraction so they will generate a number and we will create a number uh, we will create a groups of of those numbers okay so let's do this and order by dates all right so as you can see zero has a group of present okay and then again three 
is for absent then again one for is present and again five for absent then again four is for present for a different date and now they have range actually one two three we have a group okay so what we're gonna do here is we will pick the minimum value of this group and we'll pick the maximum value of this group so this will be the start date and this will be the end date okay so let's do this let's create another CD as all right so select from CTE to and let's uh, add some columns CTE to CTE to dot employee and CTE to dot status and minimum of the date dates and we'll call it start date all right now maximum of dates what we call it we'll gonna end date okay so this will be the start date which is the minimum date and this is the start date, end date which is the maximum date okay and uh, we'll create a groups group by these columns and this is the if column okay so we're gonna use this column as well okay because it will create a group and on the basis of the group we will pick the maximum value minimum value and the maximum value the minimum value would be the start date and the maximum value would be the end date okay so let's run this oops here it is to not employ employ all right so this is the output we have all right so let's add order by order by which is status and start date okay so not status actually this is only start date one three four four five six seven nine ten ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen fifteen so as you can see this table has been transported completely looking more presentable as you can see the employee one status present from start date to end date the start date is one first of january and the end date is third of january okay and the absent range is four january four to four january or a, for a day he was absent and the present again he was present on fifth january to sixth january and again he was absent seven to ninth january okay so and the again present uh, date is 10th january to 10th january okay and now the absent date was 11th january for 12th january which is for employee a2 all right so let's compare the attendance both the tables so you can have a look so employee was present on 11th of january till 12th of january okay so a to 11 to 11 january to 12th january and uh, again he was absent on 13th of january 13th of january and a to 14th of january 14th of january and 15th of january he was absent all right so this is the output in front of you and uh, that's how we can generate this output all right guys and uh, 
if you have any question or if you have any doubt or if you have a better solution than this please most welcome you can put in the comments and uh, thank you so much guys and 